All right, so I kind of want to pump this video out real quick because I actually want to get my family member, you know, take care of their stuff and also probably get them in the Libro too. Because I literally just made the video on it just now. So, plus, I want to kind of unpackage my stuff from the last video because I just kept getting interrupted last video. So, okay, so I'm not planning to invest in this, uh, especially because there's no documentation page or Yield Wolf. But from that, from what I can tell, it actually looks pretty good. <clears throat> in fact, the ba the base token called Bear has gone from six dollars up to back up to eleven thirty. But again, this thing is way over peg anyway, because it's peg. I mean, you can barely see it because yeah, my camera's blocking. But it's basically peg one to one with Joe, so it's gonna have the same problem as Snowy Owl. Uh, but with that being said, as long as, as you know, I think I might have gone into their Discord. I'm going to double check, but I think I did go in there. I mean, I think I did go in their Discord. So the, the other thing I, that I'm also kind of avoiding these days, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it, but I just need to check to make sure, is that there's a very small development team. In fact, it's just one guy, I think, right? They may claim that there is multiple people, but... I mean, yeah, they've got three mods that I can see. In fact, MDV is one of them. I see Dow King is already there, along with Lockneck from Tomb Raiders. So, I mean, it'll probably be doing okay, but again, I just don't like dealing with, you know, small development teams. Because every single time that I'm in a Tomb Fork where it's just one guy, or essentially one guy, the project always, f you know, Fs up, right? Zilla Finance is kind of like got that same problem. X ohm went down, right? Ninja money and the other one, YGG money, and then also Bunny Park or Bunny Finance, whatever, right? So again, they all had just one guy. So I kind of just don't want to deal with it anymore. So I rather just deal with. I mean, just think of it this way: you have projects with large teams having problems. What do you think happens with one person as a dev? So yeah. Well, that being said, I guess we want to try to make some money off of this. I mean, the, the bear shares are not too reasonably overpriced either. It's like 70 bucks, right? So if I had spare cash, I would try this, of course, right? In fact, you're probably making... Oh, jeez. I just realized I was on freaking Chrome. Um, yeah, so the share price, I mean, luckily, it was still on the page I wanted to explain, right? So 70 bucks, 11.51 here. So it's not too bad looking, and it looks like the boardroom's not printing too many tokens. So... Problem is, there's just not a lot to work with. Oh yeah, I already opened up the window. There's not a lot for me to work with, so I don't know if it's using smart APR system. So, 66%, 47.7 grand. I do know the boardroom is paying less than this. Yeah, paying less APR, so that's a good sign. Bear shares is 11.7, 98K locked. Okay, very good. Uh, 42.7%. So this is using the smart APR system. Damn, which makes this a lot harder for me to ignore. Let's see. 42.7, 73.3k locked. This has more locked and lower APR. So if I had to guess, I think it is technically using the smart APR system. I mean, I don't really feel like doing the math, but the problem is there's a lot less TVL in the base token peg LP. Everyone's in the shares. So it's kind of destroying the daily APR. And without the documentation, I just have to kind of like eyeball it. And I don't feel like doing the math. So if it's using the smart APR system, it's kind of like barely doing it. All right. Which is no pun intended because it's all called bear. And this is clearly a ripoff of Snowy Owl, which is fine. All right. You know. We got, you know, Snowy Owl has owls and foxes. This project has bears, right? So I don't know, maybe, maybe people from Russia might enjoy this too, right? Because of the whole Russia bear thing. But, but that being said, I do very much like that the APR for the boardroom doesn't appear, from what I can tell, to be printing that many clowns. And I'm guessing that this will be distributed over... How long has this project been live? Switch this to one. It literally released yesterday, so it's probably on a two-month timer or one-month timer. So if it makes it on Yield Wolf, I'll definitely take a closer look. I would like to see some documentation page. And for the most part, you can earn... Let me see, is this 
uh, 66%. So I'm just going to say they can earn anywhere from 32 to 66% daily APR. Now, with that being said, I know it's not going to last forever. And, the, uh, like, because look, if you look at the bear chart, I mean, geez. Ooh, four hours. Uh, let's do one hour, right? It's already on its way down, and then it's kind of consolidating at the bottom. But, you know, with the APR is this crazy, you know, it might be able to sustain it. And the shares are doing a little better, too, right? But here's the bottom. Now it's going, you know, back up a little bit and consolidating. But right now, you know, I'm just, like, very heavily weighted towards, you know, Tomb Forks, and they're very unstable right now, especially because of the Andre Cronje Phantom FUD. That's still playing itself out. We got the Federal Reserve. Hopefully raising interest rates later this Wednesday so we can finally all go back up, right, get this over with, right? But there's a chance that they still could just sit, not raise them and completely fuck up everything, right, set off the debt market like Greg Manorino says. He says that he's, it's, he says like because he knows it and we all know it, chances are the Federal Reserve also knows that and they don't want to blow up the system just yet. So I think we should be okay. But now that you know, now that I've seen liberal financial, right, I kind of want to start buying a little more Titano forks. I make a lot less money, but the money is a lot more stable, especially because Libero has just kind of come off from its bottom again, and it's looking very healthy, right? A lot, a lot of ups and downs, now consolidating and slowly clawing its way back up. I couldn't ask for anything more. And they look legit, right? They've been around for basically a month and a half now, I think, right? So... You know, and they're also actually doing more things than even Titano is doing. And they also happen to be on Binance Smart Chain, too. I also forgot to write that the Libro is on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, okay, this looks very solid. Let's see. So I'll just write Libro is on the BSC Binance Smart Chain. So hopefully people are signing up through my affiliate link because I actually really could use some money. So... <sighs> okay, so, alright, so let's see. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll have to reach, you know what, this is going to be kind of annoying for me. So, which one had the lower share? This was, what, 66%. I know this was, Bear Joe was like 40-something percent, and this is 31, okay. 31 to 66%, so I, I'm just going to keep these open, just so I can get the numbers. And well, I mean, this project just literally launched. So that's another danger you may want to look at is I think I did read that they did say that they renounced the contract somewhere. You should probably double check with either their Twitter or their Discord. I mean, I guess maybe they must have, might have posted it here. Uh, I'm looking for the word renounce here. Okay, well, they've been pretty chatty here. So there's two quark watch, so it's only a, okay, yeah, whatever. So ownership has been renounced March 11th for what? The Genesis pool or the actual token? Token tracker bear token. So I okay, so here they said they renounced. So I'm pretty sure they said they renounced the base token thing. They burned some liquidity. Uh, bullish, blah, 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 yeah, so, I mean, like, they kind of set themselves up for Yield Wolf, but I haven't, I haven't seen anything new from Yield Wolf Discord about a new, new, new pool, uh, that, that's snowy all, uh, yeah, there, it's, the last thing they announced was Hamsters of the Opera, which I did, I think, yesterday, uh, okay, yeah, so, anyway, check out, uh, what is this called again? Polar Bear Finance. It's got that stupid hyphen up there. Probably because someone else already took Polar Bear as one word with no hyphen. But, oh yeah, so you can see the prices are going down just a tad bit. So, I'm just going to wait this out. I'm going to wait, of course, nowadays, I just want, if a, if a Tomb Fork's not on Yield Wolf, unless I have a very compelling reason, uh, I, I'm just going to wait it out. So, just be aware, very far above peg, right? Well, like... This is the price of Joe. This thing is above peg by like 12.77. The shares have already taken a beating, so that might be okay, but could still go down a lot further. It probably will at some point, right? Once this thing, I mean, what, I mean, you gotta give this more time. And on top of that, it's literally a two day old project. So technically I'd be waiting, but I'm not planning to invest in this anyway. So I'm just gonna throw this out there and then you can decide what you want. And I would like to see again, some documentations. So, yeah, I mean, the prices are declining a little bit now. The $11, yeah, so this thing is a little bit all over the place. So, 
it's up to you if you want to do this or you want to take a gamble on this. All right, because I originally did Snowy Owl when I was paying 100 to 150 percent APY daily APR, and then got on Yieldable shortly thereafter. But again, I'm just personally just gonna just like whatever. So, all right. Oh, now it's down to 30 percent. All right, so I will see you. I don't know when the next set of videos that I'm gonna do because I did two two videos today. So I don't know what else I have in the content queue. But yeah, I got Zombie Finance when it fully releases. You know what? I'm gonna delete that because I'm waiting on Yield Wolf. Uh, I have an Arctic Fox Finance update when LP and boardrooms go live. I'll probably do that video. So I got a rare USD LP pool. Yeah, I'm just going to simply wait on Yield Wolf for a lot of these things, I think. So I'll probably do Arctic Fox and then Sub-Zero next. And then after that, I only got one video left to do. And then, of course, I got to see uh, new stuff. So and I still haven't done the basic beta test for Poseidon Black yet. But that's because they're fixing up the, the shares right now. So, All right, so I don't know when I'll see you next. And I'll see the prices continue to climb a tad bit. So, again, there's nothing wrong with just waiting this out. Right, because who knows? This could be a rug pull scam still. I mean, this is again, this is only day two, so I didn't realize it was this young. So, because their Genesis pools are kind of done, I think. So, all right, check out the uh, Polar Bear Finance if you're so inclined, but I'm just gonna wait them out as I always do. All right, because you know, I tried doing a little Ninja Finance and Bunny Park, right? I only did a video, I already did a video in Ninja Finance, and I really did not like that the dev basically promoted me to leech off of my reputation and then just disappear from the Discord. I really fucking hated that. So I kind of want to avoid that in the future. So, uh, actually, we could probably take a real quick look. Let me see. Yeah, the TVL is now down to 1,800. Yeah, the, the, this project just got abandoned. So I really don't like that. I really don't like that. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? You know, if you're the alpha male uh, wolf pack, I mean, you take the most risk. But you get the most rewards. So, I mean, this is definitely an example of taking the most risk. You know what? I'm, I'm going to wait it out. You know, even the king has to, like, hold back his forces from time to time to, like, you know, conserve money and manpower, you know. And that's what I'm doing here. So, aside from that, though, I mean, this still looks okay. I mean, still has a lot of TVL locked. So, all right. Uh, see you next time. Thanks. Oh, and like, subscribe, share the video, blah, 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 help grow the channel. Thank you, and welcome to everybody who, who's new. In fact, I haven't even checked the subscribe count yet. I just know it's going up, which is fantastic. I mean, I, thought, I never thought in, like, this many years of doing endless YouTube videos that I would finally get to say something like that. So I'll probably just check later. I just got so much work to do. So, yep. I don't know. I guess see you in a couple days, I guess.